everybody, this is Luna in Hawaii. I'm doing a little bit of sewing, and I thought I'd put the camera on and see if I could cap capture it a little better that way. I'm making a travel jewelry pouch. Just an idea I, I'm making up, really. Don't have a pattern. So, um, it's going to be sort of vintage looking. And what I've done is I've cut out a piece of hand-dyed velvet. I dyed it with some tea, and then I used this lid of a box and traced a circle and I'll show you on the other side I traced a circle but when I cut it out I cut it about three quarters of an inch past the circle that I'd drawn then I drew another circle and this is what I used for the base and that's it there that was on cardstock and I glued the cardstock, I hope this makes sense, I glued the cardstock to some velvet and then I found the center, hopefully it's the center, and I sewed around, first of all around the card part and then around the part that I left, the hem you might say. So that's all and then the other thing was I had some lovely crocheted lace that I got in France because it's going to be a French um, jewelry pouch. I thought I would put that around the edge and I had just enough. It takes a lot to go around the edge. So that was just enough. Now the next thing to figure out is, okay, how are you going to close it? And I have on my sewing machine a little circle thingy. It's just a, a circle that's not quite matching, but it doesn't quite match always. But anyway, it's a little circle and it comes in a line of dotted circles but what I did was I put it on one image only so it's just one time and then in order to make the circle you have to because it's well any I, I would do it on anything really um, put some paper behind it and then of course this is the right side and this is how it looks of course the threads haven't been trimmed so once all the circles are done I put them about two inches apart and once they're done well then I'll punch a hole between each circle and then I'm going to thread a ribbon through and I'll probably have to show you that in another video because I am going to do some hand embroidery. I thought I'd do some feather stitch by hand before I do the rest of it. However, I thought you might like to see me do one of these little circles. So I always use adding paper when I'm doing embroidery. You know that stuff you put in adding machines. And then for these circles, I'm almost to the end. You don't need much, just a little bit like that. And then I set the machine up. And on my machine, I have an old SAS. And it is 150. If anyone has an old SAS, actually what I'll try and do is bring it around so you can see. There it is. So then what I do is I put it on one stitch. So that makes one circle. Then I have to increase the sizes. The circumference is as high as it'll go, and it's nine. And that's it. So I'll put that back, and hopefully you'll be able to see me sew it. Now, now I mislaid the paper. There it is. Okay, so all I do is I, I use um, a little bit wider foot just to hold it better. And then I just simply sew. And I'm sewing on the wrong side and sewing on the paper. And then I've got another dot. I put dots every two inches and, and so I mean it's really kind of guesswork if the dots match up. And usually I don't cut the thread between. Okay. It's almost done. I've got four more, I think, to do. Okay, so that's good. And then, of course, later I'll pull the paper off. I like using all the bits on my sewing machine. I think that's why you pay for a good machine. This machine is at least 35 years old. Okay. And I'm down to one more. And I need one more piece of paper. And this is the last one. Oh, 
There we go. And on the other side, I'm using matching thread, cream thread, so you actually won't see it. There we go. So there, okay, so there, that's how it's looking so far, and I know you can't see, but I've got all the little holes embroidered all the way around. Oh, maybe you can see if I do that, see, and there's the wrong side, because now I have to pluck all the paper off, and that'll take a minute, and actually if it doesn't all come off, when you put the hole through, well then it will come off. And I was going to use an awl to take the paper off from the center and then, you know, take um, and put the hole through. And then when I'm through with this, as I said, I'm going to do a little bit of stitchery yet. I thought it'd be nice to put, okay, since I've got a matching drawstring, I'm going to use ribbon. And then just below that, or maybe, yeah, just below it, I think. I'll do some feather stitch around and then when it's pulled up I'll do another video because I don't think you'll get the idea yet but it's going to look you know kind of like so <laughs> that's not how it's going to look it's going to look like a poof <laughs> but anyway thanks for watching and I'll do part two so you can see when I've got the drawstring and I've done the feather stitch and see how it looks. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.